Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenner, and today we are playing as Tyrone. Tyrone! Here in your open river, Salus 4. Ah, oh, we have no advisors. That makes me very sad in my pants. But I kind of want advisors. Why do we not have advisors? Well, they're expensive, for one thing. We don't have a whole lot of money. And they cost, yeah, two ducats a month. We only, we only make three ducats a month. Wow. Better relations over time, that's not going to help us. Spy offense, not going to help us. I would love a statesman, but right now we don't need one. Hmm, national tax, that might be nice. What do we got? Uh, reinforced speed. Hmm. I guess we'll just go with Mr. National Tax Guy. And uh, we'll use him for a while. And we're still making some dollars, good. We have annexed the Scots, and we are converting Western Isles. Let us continue onward and uh, see what happens. England may declare war on us, but if they do, they're going for a world of hurt because we have some strong allies. Then again, so do they. <laughs> Burgundy, I do not want this marriage. I'm really sorry. I don't want this marriage. Oh, man. Sorry. We're going to have to break that alliance. Uh, we can't be allied with France and Burgundy at the same time. That's just... That's a fool's errand. I want to see if I can get allied with Sweden, though. It would be really nice since they have that union over Muscovy. Oh, my God. And look at Poland-Lithuania. Holy crap. Wow. So, Poland is Jagiellon, as normal. Lithuania is Lancaster. That is not normal. I have no words for that. And Lithuania and next Mecklenburg. Also not normal. Lunaburg owns three provinces. Not normal. <laughs> wow, this map is made of not normals. England owns Friesland and Calais. I don't think Burgundy can really stand up to France, so we're just going to have to forego the whole Burgundy idea. We are married with France, right? We are married. Yes. Okay. And we're married with Portugal. Um, yes. And also Northumberland. So those are our three marriages. If we break our alliance with Burgundy, we leave ourselves open for one more relationship. Oh, man, that would be a tough choice. I think Sweden's going to be the, the best choice, though. So why don't we... We have a diplomat finishing in Portugal soon. And, uh, well... That's the thing. I would love to stay in tune with France if possible. But they're allies. They're all crap. Their only good ally would be probably us. I don't like any of their other allies. Uh, is that Ferrara? Oh, that's Ferrara. Ferrara's kind of a decent ally. They have some land. They have some very profitable land. Hmm. I imagine they're going to be at war with Aragon and Castile at some point. Castile's only ally is Portugal. Whereas Aragon has some crap allies. And Portugal as well. Portugal has, well, just Castile, us, and Aragon. Hmm. There's no real way I can just ally myself with France. I mean, we are allies. But, um... Brittany has us as a rival. <laughs> yeah, I guess Sweden will be good. Renaissance Prince. Uh, lose money, gain prestige. Sure, I like prestige. England declared war on Northumberland, and um, we get to call all of our allies in. Oh, they already have come in. We're at war with England again, guys. That did not take long. So Burgundy has joined. Interesting. And Castile would take an alliance. I think we will get a temporary alliance. Come back from Portugal, please. We're going to get a temporary alliance with Castile. And go to war. <sighs> so how many ships do you have? They have two ships. Seriously, England has two ships. That is too funny. Um, we're just going to stay on patrol. That should be all we need to do. Where's our army? They're here. Okay. Well, they do have a bigger military than us. So, I think... Hmm... You know what, why don't you stay here, 
and you can pr you can protect against England. This way England can't get to the Western Isles. We'll just kind of keep our army hidden for a while. We'll see what they do with that 25 stack. Is that their whole army? That is their whole entire army. England. All right. Give me a diplomat and go get this temporary alliance. Austria has joined. Okay. Did Sweden join? Sweden has not been called in yet. Okay. Oh, damn it! Now Castile doesn't want the war. Darn it! They did want the they did want the alliance, and now they don't. Oh well. <sighs> that sucks. Although we are still improving relations. Maybe if we get a marriage. But the marriage would lock us in for a while. I'm not sure I want that. Hmm. Seems to be splitting up his units. Interesting. With only two ships, there's no way he can defend an invasion. So hopefully, Burgundy will do something like, I don't know, get on this transport and move some units over. That'd be nice. How about you do that, Burgundy? You know, transport, ships, all that stuff. Um, I could go stand my units on Northumberland. They would definitely follow me around, but that would only be 20 units. Uh, England's tech is 12. Our tech is 11. I wouldn't trust that. They will have tertio infantry, which are way better than Gallo Galay. Yeah, they have better units. Come on, Burgundy. Let me slow down time a bit. Come on, Burgundy. You have 41 dudes there. You're taking attrition rather than putting them on boats. Put them on boats. Come on over. Party's warm. Holstein has joined against us. So the war grows. It's now Austria, England, and Holstein. A couple small allies, or I think they're vassals of Austria. Yeah, vassals and unions, yeah. Oh, oh, we can go steal these colonies. But they're expensive. I really can't afford colonies. Let's get war taxes. I really can't afford colonies. Well, not more. I can burn them down, I guess. But then he'll just make new colonies in places where I want colonies, so... No, we'll leave him alone for now. France is destroying the English Navy. France has 12 transports. Hmm. You know what? Let me at least go stand on Cumbria. I might as well do that. Wow, England is actually beating Northumberland's army. Then again, that was to be expected, right? Oh, there goes Lithuania joining in. Man, you have a lot of allies. Sweden, Norway, Holstein, Lithuania, Austria, and Gorgia. So the war grows. Lithuania has joined. Is anyone going to use their transports? Here comes Norway. I'm going to keep you guys up there. Don't patrol right now. Hello, Norway. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna destroy your little navy here. There you go. And they're dead. Oh, we stole a transport. Yay, I now have two transports. Um, yeah, let me get that transport. Go dock him up. Let's see if we can't smash something. Let's get... Uh, oh, I can't afford a real general. I have to use my king or my heir. My king's kind of old. Yeah, we'll use my king. Wow. 1011. This is a shitty... What the hell? He has three military skill and he only has three pips. Wow. That is one shitty general. No shock. Ugh. I would love to smash one of these armies while his main army is away. Why does no one bring anyone over? He has 12 transports. 12. And he's not using them. Come on.
Alright, now he's coming back. I think he knows I have a shit general. Yeah, he has his king as the general. He has a 6-3-3 three, three king. How much do I bet his general is like 4 shock or something? Let's take a look. Uh, military... Where does it have the best generals? Score, score over time, technologies, religions, province. I thought that was one for generals. Best leader, there we go. Shock. England, yep, he has six shock. Look at this. His king with three military skill. His king of three military skill has three fire and six shock. My king of three military skill has one fire and zero shock. Unbelievable. We both have three military skill. Three. Three. And he gets three fire and six shock. I get one fire and no shock. Yes, of course I'm going to go hide. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Why did he get such an amazing general? That, that's ridiculous. Wow. All right, France, you got your transports in the Straits of Dover. Just run some troops across. Go right ahead. I mean, we're winning the war so far because France and Burgundy are having an easy time beating up on Austria. What would be really nice is if Portugal would, you know, use his transports and bring some dudes up. Or if France would just, you know, walk someone across. He has 12 transports here. He could walk huge armies across to London. But he's not doing that. Hmm. Well, I can't really afford much in the line of manpower. So we're going to have to use mercenaries here. I hate to do that, but what are you going to do? Uh, how many mercs can we get? 0.48 per month. We can get three. Okay. Fourteen percent. We already have fourteen percent. Is it all battles? Uh, no, not all of it. There's some blockades going on too. He doesn't want peace. Can we get Lithuania out? Because they're not going to do anything. No. All right. We get Hoshtin out. Can I quickly get a morale guy? No, there's no morale guy. There's a discipline guy, but he's very expensive. <laughs> Man, it sucks when I have to make military decisions based on expense. It's like, well, we would like to have a nice army. We would like to do well in this war, but that's very expensive. We can get a general. All right, let's at least get a general. One! Hey, we got a 1-1 one, one instead of a 1-0. All right, well, you're better than my king, so you get to lead the army. One shock. One shock. One shock. Wow. Better than nothing. 1-1 one, one is better than 1-0, right? Right. All right, see if you can't kill him. Oh, he wants to defend it. Interesting. Oh, 
and squish him flat. If we can squish a couple of these armies, we'll be sitting pretty. But they have to die. They can't retreat. They have to die. They die. Okay. Okay. This is good. Squish him. Squish it flat. Always bringing him back up. Might be in trouble here. But we did stop him from sieging anything. And we're at 20% in the war. Doesn't want peace. Hmm. It's too bad. The target's Yorkshire, which is where we're fighting. Okay. But we're not going to win this. His general is a 1-1, just like my 1-1. The difference here is the units. He has, what, tertio or something units? Well, that's not telling me. Uh, we have more morale. He has better maneuver, or not maneuver, uh, tactics. He also has better discipline. We have more morale, but it's not mattering because, I don't know, we're getting some bad rolls and we're attacking across a river. Yeah, we've lost. All right, go back. Damn it, I was hoping to break up his siege there. Now oh, we can tech up. Good. And we'll try to recover from that, but wow, did that hurt. Is there any chance of any of the allies actually, you know, coming over to help? That'd be nice, maybe. Portugal's just chilling here in Navarra, doing nothing. This is just like the last war. The allies are not helping at all. It's kind of depressing. Oh, they lost their colony up here. Lol. And they haven't resent him either. Interesting. I don't know where they're going to go then. Well, we'll steal it if they don't want it. That's the target, Yorkshire, so we kind of have to prevent them from sieging it, or at least get it back after they get it. Did that say Poland declared war on the Ottomans? It did, Polish crusade against the Ottomans. That sounds like a terrible idea. But you just did it. Okay, Poland, You good luck, man. Bohemian declare war on Austria. Okay. And England joined on Austria's side in that war. Okay. Okay, they have separated a little bit. So we'll see if we can't... Oh, he's just going to stomp my vassal stuff. Vassal, just don't raise armies, vassal. Why are you doing that? I'm just gonna get squished. Ah, I should go squish these while we can. Okay, we cord Penacook. Very nice. And we have a free diplomat. Well? Who needs kisses? No. Everyone's pretty good. Maybe Aragon? No, Aragon's a bad idea. Sweden, let's do Sweden. They didn't join against me in any wars. Yeah, we'll see if we can get Sweden on our side. Because they did break their alliance with England. So England called them to war and they said no. Cool. Damn it, they got the target. All right, we'll have to go get it back. Uh, 
And nobody's bringing over any units. I mean, it's not like Portugal's got anything better to do. They're just kind of chilling in southern France for some reason. Wow, we've already dropped more than half of our manpower on this war. Just on one battle. Whew, wow. And he is really grouping up everyone here in Asher for some reason. running the derby. Oh, now he's coming back. You know what would be ideal? It'd be ideal if England would send some troops over to um, fight the other war they're in. Because they're in another war, too, against Bohemia. So it'd be cool if he would send some troops to the mainland. Just leave us alone here. Or if he continues just to drop off little sieges here and there, that'd be nice, too. You know what, why don't we call this an episode, and we'll come back next time for this second, well, um, I guess it's, it's more than the second war against England, but this is the second war against England that I think we're going to be able to take some stuff. Just kind of have to get their units out of position, and I think we'll be fine. So I'll see you next time. Have a good day.